Hey, what is up you guys? It is Monday today and really for the past few days, there really hasn't been anything interesting going on. Uh, my husband and I just have been grocery shopping because Hawaii is going on another lockdown. So we don't know what groceries or anything looks like. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. And a lot of my online shopping things had trickled in and yesterday i had showed you guys that i had done my nails was it yesterday or some day ago I'm not too sure but um that was just a fast lapse of what i usually do um, my iPhone today because as I was preparing to set up my camera I didn't realize that it was dead so we're using my iPhone camera so don't mind me looking all over the place like crazy so I'm going to go over some online things that I had purchased that I'm super excited about um, in my last vlog I had mentioned that I fell in love with these precision Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton I wish precision Lulu lemon shorts in a tan color so I did order the black and so I got it in the black hopefully it fits exactly the way the tan shorts fit because they're slightly big on me but I like it bigger because again it uh, makes me look like I have hips so here are the black Oh, it's not precision, it's practical. So here are the black practical play shorts that I had got. I had linked it down below if you wanted to check it out. And I also did buy a couple things from the Nordstrom sale, but I didn't buy too much because truthfully it was okay. And a lot of the things um, that I had recommended on my blog, if you haven't checked it out, I'll link it here and down below. It's stuff that I already had that I could recommend and I could speak to. Um, so basically I bought, oh my gosh, I can't really remember what I bought. I bought two things, but they ended up sending me three boxes. So I don't know what the third box is, um, but I did get something from UGG and these are the first 
and only things that I have and will ever purchase from Ugg. So I had got these cute house slippers. I know I just bought the Nike Stussy Slides, but honestly, they're really not that comfortable to wear in the house. They're they're not really not that comfortable, period. So um, I wanted something that was going to be way more comfortable. So I did pick these uh, slippers up from Ugg from the Nordstrom sale. And um, I will link it down below. But I think this color might be sold out. But there's still like a really nice gray that I was kind of going towards. So I got this in, I, be I believe, in a size 9. Um, but I usually don't buy house slippers, guys, because... Every year when we would go to Japan, I would just take all the free ones that the hotels had to offer. But because in 2020, because this year I'm not going, sad, um, that I ended up having to buy a pair. But if you are ever in Japan, the slippers that I got from Muji Hotel in Japan, which they might actually sell in Muji stores, those are my favorites. And I'm sad that I no longer have them, but extremely cute. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they're comfortable. They are UGG, so let's see what is in here. Oh, I remember I bought vitamins. Yes. Um, so um, I thought this was a good deal. I've been buying these vitamins since the last sale. So these are the... Um, Super U Daily Stress Management. There is a big size and a little size. I honestly didn't even know they made a little size. Um, last year they had just the two bigger size, which might have been the better deal. But yes, there's a baby one as well. I guess if I really wanted to use it as a travel, when am I going to travel? I don't know. I could use it. And then I'm assuming because the samples that they had offered was not in the box that they sent a whole shipment box just for samples. Like you guys are ridiculous. Don't waste, don't waste money. You know, just I I'm I I wouldn't have mind waiting a couple days for them to all have shipped in one package. I would have been totally fine with it but at the same time they probably have different facilities so that's why they sent separate packaging which is a waste but whatever so while i'm opening this box today i tried to go out for the space cause and the site that i went on had taken me like for a ride in the payment section so i didn't get it but congratulations to all the people who did like miss lucinda and leanne Mon uh miss monster miss Mon monster banana um i know she got one as well so happy for you guys i'll just live vicariously through you guys which i already do anyway but so wow seriously they sent just this bag of samples in another shipment box which isn't really i okay guys i think samples are fantastic but realistically i don't ever use them because i feel like if you're going to try out a product you you're going to need mass amount of samples so they sent me the fre uh, the fresh soy cleanser which i've tried before and it was okay i didn't really see any much of an impact to that and they sent me the Kiehl's Daily Revive Serum. I actually have this. I thought, um, I think it's actually pretty good. So that's great for travel. And just just these little cardboardy ones. I usually throw these away. Um, so Nordstrom, don't do that. Oh. And I have one last thing that I had got in the mail. Um, I had already opened it to check it out because I got it through a consignment um sure um i guess you can call them that so i got this little chanel box here i've actually had it for a while i've been wanting to share it with you guys but haven't had the chance to yet i kept forgetting truthfully i could have done it in the last vlog but i totally forgot but guys look at 
these mamas. Oh, freaking crabs. They are so adorable. I really wanted something from this um, collection. I remember when I was in Vegas last year to try it out. Um, they actually didn't have the earrings. They were sold out. They had a brooch, but I wasn't sure if I really wanted a brooch at that time. I was really looking for earrings. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I can't wait to wear them. But they're so beautiful. Beautiful. And then I do have a couple more things. I still have to go back to UPS. I, um... This year, I thought buying Agenda refills for 2020 was like the biggest waste of money. I bought the Louis Vuitton one for my uh, PM Agenda, but I also do have an MM Agenda that I'm glad that I didn't buy the Louis Vuitton pills for. However, I started using it again recently and I was watching on Alyssa Lenore how she recommended cloth and paper, but I did actually find out from another person um, through stories um, that they used it as well. So I had saved it to my, um, like I have like a little shopping list. The night before I've seen Alyssa Lenore's vlog, I actually had placed an order and then I saw her build her agenda together and now I'm super excited to get it. I only worked, um, as far as my agenda book, I do have a lot of fills that I bought from Japan maybe two, three trips ago that I still had. So I filled it with that to get started and I worked on my whole front side, um, which I will show it to you guys after I stop talking. Um, but I'm still waiting for the refills. I figured I buy agenda I buy agenda pieces that do not have already like a time frame to it and I just fill in my own dates. That way I feel like I'm not wasting any paper or anything. So I really wanted to get started on that again. I'm just trying to, you know, get back into the groove of things because sometimes when I do a to-do list on my phone, I get so distracted by social media and other stuff that I totally forget to check off my to-do list. And um, I really, I had one in the kitchen, which was like a generic one, but I put it there. I don't know why I did because I was like the only one who read it and um, and if that's the case, I might as well just reuse my agenda again. I have the Louis Vuitton Damier um, agenda in the, is that shadow? Oh no, in the graphite um, pattern. So I am, I bought a bunch of neutral um, inserts from cloth and paper. So I can't wait to pick that up. I'm, I was actually going to go today, but. I have to walk Millie pretty soon, so I don't know what that's going to be like. But otherwise, that we really just been home, um, not doing much. My closet, again, is on the messier side because um, now I just open all these boxes. So now I have boxes everywhere, but I was also, like, taking pictures of stuff. So, oh, for Ellis Collective, so I will post that down below, which is my closet. And now this is a mess again so i'm going to definitely do a cleanup and i realize when you film these cleaning things you tend to work faster because you're being filmed so i might add that in there but otherwise that guys don't know when's the next time i'm gonna vlog um actually you know what might be pretty soon because i've been waiting for my complete order from louis vuitton to fulfill and um, that could be any day now, so, yeah. Also, before I go, for the past couple months, I've been documenting some pictures from my hair journey, and I started on three different shampoos. So I'm going to talk about that um, a little later, but right now with the products that I'm using, this is my hair, not styled. Um, there's product in my hair, but usually to get it this flat, to get it this, there's hair in my mouth, to get it this flat and to get it like, um, not frizzy, it took a while for me to figure out which products work best, but I think I found my sweet spot and hoping that this is something that I can just be doing for the rest of my days until it just starts looking like this without product. 
So I think it's actually looking really good. It's looking much more healthy, uh, not as dry and frizzy, which I'm loving. So I will be talking about that soon. Millie girl, hey. Millie, hey. She, she licked her lips. Millie. <laughs> 